The Polish Armament Agency has confirmed the arrival of 12 new K-9A1 self-propelled howitzers, supplied under a contract with South Korea's Hanwha Aerospace. The howitzers will be deployed to a newly formed brigade near the Belarusian border on Poland's eastern frontier. This delivery, aligns with the agreed schedule, marks another step in Warsaw's efforts to bolster military readiness as it faces growing security concerns along its eastern flank. The K9A1 howitzer is an advanced variant of the K9 Thunder, a 155mm self-propelled howitzer developed by Hanwha Defense. Compared to its predecessor, the K9A1 features a range of technological and performance upgrades. The system is equipped with a more accurate inertial navigation system, updated fire control management, and an active protection system that guards against ballistic threats and missile attacks. The K9A1 can fire six shells per minute and has a maximum range of 55 kilometers with rocket-assisted projectiles. Other key features include all-terrain mobility, provided by its track chassis, and the ability to operate in challenging terrain conditions. These enhancements ensure that the K9A1 can adapt to modern combat demands and improve the effectiveness of Polish artillery on the field. This recent delivery of 12 new K9A1 self-propelled howitzers is part of the $2.4 billion contract signed by Poland in July 2022 for a total of 212 units with all deliveries expected to be completed by 2026. The first batch of 24 howitzers was delivered in December 2022, followed by an additional 40 units in 2023. To further expand its procurement, Poland also signed a second contract in December 2023 worth $2.6 billion. This contract includes six additional K9A1 howitzers and 146 K9PL howitzers an adapted version of the K9 with Polish-made subsystems. Deliveries under this second contract are scheduled for 2026 to 2027, complementing Poland's broader military acquisition strategy that includes various South Korean defense systems. Stay informed and subscribe to our channel for the latest breaking news on military affairs. Thank you for watching.